What's up guys? I wanted to do a quick review today of my Black Bear Performance Tune that I got as well as just a quick rundown of the procedure that that process takes. So let's get to it. <laughs> All right, so there's a lot of tuners out there. Um, you can find them on the internet pretty easily, especially for LS engines. This review is gonna be specifically for LS engines because that's what I have the experience with. I decided to go with Black Bear Performance because they had the scan cable tune. There's a lot of people that have mail order tunes. Now, from what I understand and talking to several different tuners, this is a great option if you haven't done any major modifications to your vehicle. If you just have like an intake and exhaust or just have no modifications and want to get a retune it's a great option for you however after talking to several different tuners it wasn't just black bear performance it was several different tuners they all told me the same thing um, with the modifications that I had to my engine. They said they could do the mail order tune, but they would suggest that I confirm that the air fuel ratio is correct after I get the tune. Now, to me, this kind of defeats the purpose of a mail order tune because I didn't want to do the mail order tune and then have to go to a tuner to have them basically check the air fuel ratio. I might as well just go to the tuner and have them do it to begin with. But the other issue is that I live in a small town. I'm up here in Idaho and there really is no tuners. I know one tuner that's in a town about 50 miles from here and I got a hold of him. He said he would be able to do it, but from talking to him, he didn't make it sound like he wanted to do it that bad. I'm not sure what his deal was, but after talking to him, I decided not to have him tune it. In the end, um, it worked out great. With that scan cable, you're able to hook it up to your computer and do some data logging. Then I email it to them and they confirm the air fuel ratio is good that way. Along with that, if you have any issues with your vehicle, they can help you diagnose those. With mine, they were getting some weird readings with the, the air intake, and so they had me change the mass airflow. So they are able to help with issues like that, which is another benefit of the scan cable tune. And the third reason that I think the scan cable tune is good and maybe a little bit better than the mail order tune is that after you get the tune, you have to do what's called a crank relearn, or at least I did on my vehicle. And if you don't have the scan cable or some kind of a scan tool device, you're gonna have to take your vehicle into a dealer and have them perform that crank relearn process. So that's why I chose the scan cable tune and it ended up working well for me. However, there are some downsides to the tune. First being that the process is pretty long. Unlike a mail order tune where they can just mail you a new computer, you can swap it out and mail yours back. They send you the scan cable first, then you're supposed to do some data logging. To do the data logging, you just hook the scan cable up to your vehicle and a computer and then go drive around, um, do some full throttle pulls, different varying RPMs or whatever. And then you take that data file and you're gonna email it back to Black Bear. They look at that data and they use that to create the tune for your vehicle. And like I say, I was having some issues with mine with the mass airflow sensor. And so that made the process go even longer because they had me do some extra data files. So once they get all the data that they want from you, what they're gonna do is they're gonna take that put it into an ECU, then they send you the new ECU, you install that into your vehicle, and then you go do a few more data log just like you did the first time. Then they check that data log just to make sure that everything's where it should be. They check the air fuel ratio, do all that, make sure everything's looking like it's good. When they did mine, the first ECU that they sent me, it actually, I'm not sure what happened, but it had some issues and it wasn't running quite right. Not running too well right now. Yeah, when I give it gas, it basically doesn't do anything. So they actually had to send me a second ECU. So all of this, like I say, it adds to the time of the process. But the second ECU that they sent to me, um, it worked great. Everything's been running well since then and I haven't had any issues. So like I say, the downside to this is that it does take time. I think from start to finish, it took me about six weeks to get my tune completely done. Now I was happy working with Black Bear Performance, but I will warn you that it may be somewhat difficult. I didn't even find a phone number for them on their website. I don't think they have one because they don't want people calling them. So all the communication was 
just through email. And that's not a huge deal, but sometimes I would send them an email and it might be three or four days before I get a response. So like I said before, don't expect this to happen overnight. So the process for the scan cable tune, it's not incredibly difficult. It's actually pretty easy except the instructions that they have on their website aren't really the best. Like I mentioned before, they mail you the scan cable and then they have you download this EFI live software to your computer. Where I first was having issues is when you download the program from the EFI live website, there's actually two applications that it installs into your computer. One just says EFI Live, and then the other one is the scan tool. All of their instructions are based on the scan tool, so you want to make sure that you open up the scan tool. I was first opening the EFI Live program, and none of the instructions were matching, and it was just driving me crazy. Then I finally realized that I was in the wrong program, and then it went pretty smoothly from there. The EFI Live software itself is free. You just download it off the website. Overall, I'm very happy with the tune that I got. Like I say, it took a while, but it was good and the truck's running well now. It's hard to say if I got a whole lot of extra performance just from the tune because with all the modifications that I made to the truck, it was running and it was running okay, but it really needed to be tuned to run properly to begin with. It's hard to give a straight comparison to a before and after. Thanks for checking out my video. Hopefully it was somewhat helpful in helping you decide what you want to do to tune your vehicle. If you already have a tune, let me know in the comments below who you used as your tuner and whether you liked it or not. And as always, remember to like and share the video. Thanks.